Mike, congratulations. What a stunning performance. Dispatching of Gary Anderson in the way you did. Just sum up Hay Freedom for us after that. Ecstatic. Um, I'm really, really happy with the win. Um, yeah, <laughs> not many words to say. I'm, I'm just really happy. Is that your best result on TV, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I played some good games but lost. And, and winning this, um, a former champion of the world. I've been around for many, many years. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, this is my top performance on stage, I think. We saw at the end Gary clap you. And when he came up to you, what did he say to you? He said, keep it on now. Like, well, I understand him. Like, I've, 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 I've had it before on the Pro Tour that uh, people play a brilliant game against me and then the game after it's 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 less um, so but he was he congratulated me and he was really supportive and, and really fair to be honest so the result and a performance in that manner does that give you the belief that you can go on and win the World Grand Prix now dispatching of someone of Gary Anderson's stature I'm happy that I'm in the quarterfinals so I'm not going to talk about winning this thing um, I'm just happy that I'm playing well on stage. That's always been a problem um, with my game. So, as a, no, I'm, the, I'm just happy. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. Mike, we've always known you as a great floor player, but are you feeling a lot more comfortable on that TV stage now? Yeah, I've, I've had a lot of experience the last two, three years with the European tours and the Worlds and, and uh, a couple of majors. So, yeah, I'm feeling more comfortable on stage. Um, with this, this has never been my thing, doing interviews and press and, and all that stuff. Uh, but I'm getting more comfortable with it, so yeah. Have you changed anything at all over the last couple of years? Because you're starting to look like a completely new player now. Um, for the last 10 years, my mom has um, kicked me up the butt, saying that I had to practice more. And I always thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and since last year, uh, I've said it before, since last year I've found a new friend group and they've been really supportive. They um, always said that I have to practice because there's a lot of money to be earned in darts and you can make a great living of it. And um, from them I, I kind of, I believe what they say, I'm, but my mom it's more like, yeah, 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 you're moaning and, and leave me alone. So I think that's the main difference, yeah. And this win provisionally puts you in the top 32. How does that feel? Good. That was my main goal this year, to get in the top 32. Especially for the Worlds, it's it's a big step if you come in the second round instead of the first round. So I'm, I'm really happy with this. Thanks, Mike. Well done. Mike, well done on tonight. Um, how different was the performance from Gary to what you were expecting to play up there? Honestly, I thought he was going to bat me. <laughs> um, I was practicing. I, I was here four hours up front, I think. And the first two, three hours, I, was, I wasn't hitting a thing. And I was thinking, well, it can only go better from, from here. Um, so I'm happy I did on stage. Yeah. And I think belief going forwards, getting a win over someone like Gary Anderson, 3-0, with such ease, really, must do, do a lot for your confidence. Well, it looked like... It was with a lot of ease, but I was really nervous on there. Um, but yeah, it gave me it gives me a lot of confidence. Um, like I said, I hope I can continue this. Thank you. Welcome. Mike, you averaged over 95 on there in this format. That's incredible. Did you did you feel like you could put in a performance like that, especially against an opponent like you did two-time world champion? Uh, not in the first two, three hours of practice. Uh, but I got on stage and, and my first dart was going in well. It was or in the treble or above. So then, then like how my darts stick in the board, it's an easy game. Into the top 32 now. Quarterfinals here. You've won a title in 2024. Did you feel like this would be as good as a year as it has been so far? Um, maybe. Um, maybe. And with everything that you've achieved so far, do you now start looking ahead and start setting goals for the end of this year and then on to next year? No, not really. I'm just playing my game. I'm not really setting goals. I, I had one main goal and that was being in the top 32, top 32 before the Worlds. And that's achieved now and hopefully I can stay there. But I don't really have goals. I just look, look at it tournament after tournament. Mike, huge. Well done. Thank you. Thank you.